I'm doing well, Neil. Hey, congratulations on this new film, A Holiday Twist. Thank you very much. I had a, a fun time doing it. That's, and I think it's probably kind of evident that just to see me kind of chew up the scenery and, and, and let loose like I, I haven't. And, you know, I came out here to be a comedian. Uh, and they said, "Man, nah, you're funny, but you don't look funny. How about being a leading man? How about being a, a soldier? How about being this or that? And my, my career just went in a whole different direction. So anytime through my villains, I get to infuse my comedy. Uh, but this one, I get to really delve in the world of funniness. And for me, it was just such a joy to be part of a film like Holiday Twist. So so what initially drew you to a Holiday Twist? What, was it was it the comedy or you wanted to do something different? I, I, well, I always want to do something different. I don't like doing the same stuff over and over again. Um, and, and, and that's kind of been the key to my career and the key to my success, I think, that's to, to keep the audience, not just guessing, but to keep my performances fresh for the audience. My, my, my dad always said, if they give you a dollar, give them $2 worth of effort. And I've kind of prided myself on that, that I, I work really hard on my characters to make them as entertaining as possible. But I haven't had a chance to do a Christmas film. And nor have I had a chance really to do a comedy. And I got to do both of them at one time through, uh, you know, Stephanie, what she devised here. This is all her, this is her baby. She wrote it, she directed it, she paid for it. She had to sell her house halfway through to get more money to finish the film. And it's, it's one of those projects that has such good will towards it that I hope it does really well for it because it's a fun movie. It's a, a family film that anyone can watch. It's got great messages in it. It's got great humor in it. And it's it's a Christmas film. So uh, I hope people will really go out and watch it because they're going to really enjoy what they see. So how did you get into the character of Skip? I I, I don't want to call him a villain. You know, I, I know your other movie, uh, The Shift, came out today. And that, that is a far different villain. But uh, how, how do you get into these characters? Well, this was different. This was, you know... The, the thing I really liked for me in my career in this is that people know me so well for being you know, a great villain. So to play a guy who is kind of the bad guy of the piece, and as you slowly see him, this, this goofy guy, and why he's doing what he's doing, by the end of the piece, you really feel for this guy. And there's something there that you don't generally see in what is perceived to be the villain of the piece where you say, oh my gosh, this poor guy. I just want to wrap my arms around him and, and help him out. And that was the beauty of this character for me that I got to do that. I got to infuse real great comedy, but poignancy also by the end of the film. And that was, uh, I'm very, very grateful for that opportunity. I mean, it, it does say something if the audiences have empathy for a guy who's still presents. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. And that's where we we're going. That was a driving force for my character for the film and, and for, you know, really the whole, the, the piece. And, and it worked. You know, when you see the film, it's just, a well crafted I mean, Stephanie's a first-time director who put her heart and soul into this thing. And I think that people are going to really enjoy this film because it's just a simple throwback Christmas film. Like it, it feels like this movie was made in 1986. Mm -hmm. And I love that simple feeling to and the simple way of, of, of making the, this project come to, to life. And she did a fantastic job doing it. And I love, you know, I just I just enjoy the heck out of, of playing Skip and 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 just enjoying having an opportunity to to really stretch my muscles in comedy again. It's been a long time and I had a great time doing it. And how, how do you uh, balance uh, your comedy with uh, Brian Thomas Smith, uh, you know, your, your relative, your, you know, your, your co-partner in crime in this film? He's one of the funniest dudes I've ever hung around with. And the stuff that would come out of his mouth and then the stuff that come out of our mouth would be halfway through a take and they would be, you know, blowing snot through our nose laughing so hard and then have to reset and go back at it again but and then the crew's laughing and everyone's just losing their mind because we're coming up with these little gold bits and i think for me you know yeah you know, i'm such a go for it i want to just be the best that i can in when i'm on camera we just went for it we just really just had this this confidence of the two of us of just going for it being a great partnership um and, and being very different at the same time and i think that's why it works so well and i'm really happy to be part of a film like this i'm proud to be part of a film like this because it was just old school filmmaking and we had a ball doing it now i'm i'm curious uh your scene with ryan uh you had a long scene that that's supposed to, supposedly under the table you guys weren't really under the table <laughs> that entire time we were under the table for days doing that thing and it was awesome you know it was 
it, it was one of those films and those those times where as an actor there's us under the table forever improv making stuff up and it was you know the last one was at the end of the day we didn't have a whole lot of time we had to rush it and the cameras were there and the dogs and the people and everything but stephanie was a great director and in letting us loose and, and giving us the comfort of, of creating the way that we wanted to create a character and i think we created two fantastic fun goofy dumb yet poignant guys all trying to figure out what life is about and are we all trying to figure out what life is about every day, especially in, in the times we have now where there's so much fighting, there's so much envy, there's so much greed, there's so much stuff going on in the world that's just not great. Every once in a while, as an actor, I get to really enjoy the moment. But as an audience, you get to watch a film and just kind of... The thing I really love about Holiday Twist is it's really pure escapism. You can go to the theater and, and I you should see this on a big screen because it's just fun on a big screen. Christmas films are always more fun on a big screen, aren't they? And you get to escape and laugh and uh, and cry and feel good about yourself by the end of the film. And I love films like this. And to be part of it was really just a, such a joy for me. Most excellent. And um, one one more thing uh, um, with with you, Neil. Um, personally, do you believe in angels and miracles? Absolutely. Every single day. You know, uh, I have no idea how I was so fortunate in my life to have a woman like Rebe say yes to me. Our, our 20th anniversary is tomorrow. Uh, and to have the five kids that, that we have, they're all miracles. God has miracles right in front of us every single day, all the time. Sometimes we don't see them. Usually we don't. But it's up to us to have the faith in him that allows us to see the greatness and the gifts that he bestows upon us on this planet. And uh, I, I'm just... Yes, there are angels everywhere. Angels in the Outfield is my first movie, which proved the fact that there are angels. And uh, here I am still still believing 100% that uh, there's other things out there that are guiding us and helping us. There's also things out there that are trying to take us down as well. But uh, I, the good guys in the end, to me, always win. And that's that's the way I run my life. I know. I, I, I just watch Angels in the Outfield. Uh, your, oh. version, your version and the original... Uh, you know the old ver version um on on Thanksgiving just uh, this past weekend and 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 I was watching I was going oh wait that's that's Neil in the film <laughs> yeah they say classics should be remade every thirty years and I think it was about thirty years from the original to uh, Angels in the Outfield back in ninety three I think it's time to to bring Angels in the Outfield back again and and continue whatever happened to all those guys and 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 where is Whit Bass now the dumb pitcher for the Angels has he become a manager has he you know, who knows, but it would be it would certainly be a lot of fun to revisit Angels in the Outfield because that was one of my favorite films because, again, it was a family film. Everyone can go and watch it. It was fun. It was poignant. It was hilarious at times, broke your heart at other times. And I love films like that. The old school Disney films were my favorite films to watch and to be part of. And I hope we go back to those films again. I, I I love it too. That that, that film film uh, brings uh, joys of tear um, tears of joy uh, um, to 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 myself. But uh, and so so does this Christmas movie. You need to make more Christmas movies. Oh, that that's the plan. That is that is certainly the plan. All right, Neil. Thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about Holiday Twist. It is a lovely film, and it's a, it's a pleasure uh, speaking to you again. Thank you. Great seeing you. Be well. God bless you, and have a great Christmas and a happy holiday season. Happy holidays. Bye now.